All right, this is some pretty interesting news. I've, I was actually excited about this when I read it. RuneScape has gone through some wilderness improvements and they added a new task set. I was really curious how they're going to play this off because not many people like going to the wilderness. They're scared of dying. I know for one, I know for one, I'm scared of dying in the wilderness. So I don't know if I'm going to be spending much time in there. But if you like the wilderness, you're going to like this update. This wilderness task set is something that a lot of people have been waiting for. If you're an experienced player, you're going to get way more stuff and you're going to get more usage out of uh, completing the task sets. I'm sorry, newbies. I feel your pain. We cannot do many of the stuff, but it's fine. The good thing about this wilderness task set, and unlike any of the other easy tasks, you actually don't need anything for the, for the easy set, which is perfect. Obviously, once you're done with the easy task set, the higher ones are going to be increasingly higher. But I mean, the wilderness is a dangerous place. They're supposed to be hard, so it makes sense. Alright, so check this out. Once you're done with the easy task set, you actually get something called the wilderness sword. And this sword actually does a lot of cool things. One of those cool things actually gives you 5% more XP at the Wilderness Agility Course, which is perfect. You're getting a little bit more XP at the risk of being PK'd, which is makes perfect sense, actually. But you do have to have the sword equipped, so... I don't... If you die, I don't think you lose it. I don't usually go to the Wilderness, so I don't know if you get to keep one item or not. Alright, so the rewards from the easy task is free teleports to the Wilderness, Herb Patch, and Edgeville. And it locates the Wildy Worm. I don't know if it's pronounced Wildy Worm, Wildy Wyrm. I, I don't know how you pronounce the name of those stupid monsters, but I already said it. The rewards for the medium task gives you 5% XP at the Wilderness Agility Course. With the sword being equipped, I just mentioned that. It gives you improved pocket rates at Rogues. And teleports to the Ferenthry Dungeon. Which will actually make things a lot easier for you people who can actually get there. The reward for the hard tasks provides an Air Obelisk shortcut. Quick teleports to the Wilderness Lotstone access to the item unnoter at the chaos altar and that's actually pretty freaking useful because that thing was a piece of garbage before nobody even used it your herbs in the wilderness patch will not get diseased which is freaking awesome you get to choose a destination at the wilderness obelisk which once again will make things so much easier for you higher level people i am so freaking jealous right now and it gives you a chance to teleport to the center of the abyss instead of going through those little stupid shortcuts but you must have the sword equipped which is a fair trade. It's not even a big deal equipping that thing, so easy peasy. And the last final task set, the elite tasks, it gives you one free daily teleport to the Warbands camp of your choice, which, wow. Wow, that's actually pretty freaking good. Lava Strike Worms drop noted ashes, but once again, the sword must be equipped in your inventory. But once again, that's a perfect trade off because those freaking ashes are expensive, man. And you're getting them noted, so. That means you won't have to go bank at all. You get free teleports to the Wilderness Agility Course, which is freaking awesome, dude. The more I'm reading this, the more I want to do this stuff. You get improved drop rates for the Ancient Warrior equipment in the Ferenthry Dungeon. Not bad. And last but not least, Team Capes gives the effects of the Ava devices. You can claim the easy task rewards from Mr. X in Edgeville. You can claim the medium tasks from Mandrith in Edgeville Bank. The hard tasks from Kirkus in the Wilderness Wall between Edgeville and the Grand Exchange and the elite tasks from Collodion in the Mage Arena. If I mispronounce one of those names, I'm very sorry. I don't know. But that is everything for the Wilderness tasks. There's so many more Wilderness improvements, and the list is so long that this video would actually be a little bit too long, so I'll put the link to the news article down in the description, but I'll show you a little part of the list just so that you can see some of the new features. And yeah, I think that's going to be the end of the video. I think they did a pretty good job with this Wilderness improvements and the, the task set. There's so much stuff that you can gain from this, Obviously, the higher level players are going to get way more out of this than the lower players, but that's why you got to grind your ass off. That's why you got to work hard to get up there, to be able to enjoy all this good stuff. So yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.